to the nonfiction filmmaker where I'm going to play a game of nine ball. Nine ball is a little, strategy is a little different. So be sure to subscribe, comment, and uh, do all that great stuff. So the first thing I always do when I break, and in any game, eight ball or nine ball, is I always put the upper English on it because it rolls into the the rack and allows it to spread out a little more because that's what you want. You don't want balls cluttered when you're playing the game. So I didn't sink anything. So my opponent starts off by sinking the one ball. So if you don't know about nine ball, let me tell you that you have to sink the lowest ball on the table. You can get other balls in by common, like combination, like he's about to try here. That would have been a legal shot if he would have got the ball in. You always have to hit the lowest ball on the table. Remember that. So here I come and I did uh, the combination that he tried to do and I was successful. But I kind of messed it up here. I was trying to go to let you guys know with, with a two seven ball combination uh, but I didn't, ha I didn't quite have the angle to pull that off and uh, did nothing good here. But I can tell you if that nine ball would have went into that pocket, I would have won because I hit the lowest ball on the table. Just remember that. So that's where slop comes into play. I don't like playing like that, but I would have won the game just saying that. So my opponent takes over and sinks with great combination, the six ball, what appears to be six ball, but I knew in a two six ball combination in the corner. Very good. That's when I knew, okay, I'm dealing with someone really good here so I have to be on my game here he tries a combination where if he would have sunk he would have won and I think he was just a little too low on the ball there but he would have won that if he would have com comboed that in two four nine ball combination he would have instantly won so I took over and I tried the same thing of course but guess what I chose the wrong pocket because if I <laughs> chose that pocket I would have got it in uh, now that's not a win because I didn't get it in the right pocket so the ball just comes out and goes in the center. If you make an error and you pocket a ball in the wrong spot on nine ball, the ball ends up uh, going in and staying, I mean going out and staying out, but uh, you don't get another turn and the next person gets the ball in hand. So here I come slicing, the, trying to slice the four ball. I, I mean, my opponent's trying to slice the four ball, and he does a good job of that. So he's going to try again for the uh, five ball. And he's going to get this one in. It's a nice shot. He's got the, looks like he's got the right angle to get this in. And he does. Like I said, he was a good opponent. But he kind of put himself in trouble here by hiding himself behind the eight ball like that. He's been really good at placing the ball. And when you play this game, you really have to think where you're going to put the... Uh, you have to set up yourself for the next shot, is what I'm trying to say. You always got to try and place the ball in an area that uh, you can kind of get an idea where to put the ball next so you can sh get an easy shot. So he does... He gives me ball in hand here, so I right away go for the side pocket. I'm not very strong on side pockets, but I understand that I have to go there to set myself up for the eight ball. And I do it perfectly. Eight ball is set perfect. I can angle it into the corner pocket, so that's what I go for. Choose my pocket. And as I'm choosing, the opponent decides that he's in trouble. And, and here I am, and I'm in a perfect spot, so I'm saying, yeah. As long as I remain calm, I can win this game, but my opponent decides something totally different for me and exits the game, and I won. You should never do that. I could have missed that ball, but he didn't want to take that chance, so uh, I won that game. So remember to subscribe, like, and share, and thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because subscribing makes you feel good.